Hey, Tiny T Prepper here, and I'm continuing to work on the installation of the Whirlpool tub. Uh, what I've done here since uh, last time is I had to get ready. I'm getting ready to put the backer board up, which is what we put the tile that it sticks to. And so what I'm doing on that is back behind here, I had some space and in, in between the tub and the, some of the, the studs here. So what I did was so I just ran a second stud right up alongside that one. Pulled it out tight against the tub and, and pushed it up against the top and then made sure I put a level, a straight edge across this way on it and made sure it hit hit those studs. So I did one here, 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 and one over here in the corner. So there's four of those I did. I didn't quite get the tub set uh, properly, but once it's set in mortar, I had to work around that then. So if I'd have been a little bit... Uh, more on top of things and notice that it slid away just about a quarter of an inch on one side and when I put it in there uh, well once I had the mortar down there and had the tub in there wasn't much else I could do then if, unless I wanted to rip it out and clean it up and start all over again which wasn't really an option at the time so what I did it figured is I can bring those studs out with just all it cost me is four studs there they're not even complete studs they just come down they're, they're scrap boards two by fours I had from tearing something else out and so I put those across there. So uh, put them alongside the other studs and brought them out to where they need to be. So those are what I'll actually attach the backer boards to, and then uh, uh, put that on. With, uh, there's some screws, special screws for the backer board. It's that uh, I can't think of the name. Hardy backer board, a half inch. So that'll go on there. Now I still got to cut out the plastic here. I put a plastic on for a vapor barrier underneath. There's some that say do and some that say don't. Uh, what it is, is on an outside wall there. If you don't have good insulation there, some of that cold air can come in and condense on that plastic and then uh, run down. So, But if water seeps through your tile, it can go through the other way and if you have a crack or something like that in it. So I kind of said, well, let me leave the top open there. Somebody mentioned that if you leave, don't go plastic all the way up on the outside wall that'll give it room to breathe so hopefully we don't get that condensation if there's a little bit of cold air that comes in there don't think i'll have any problem with that we're we're not where we get real cold uh weather here in austin so not real concerned about it now if it was up north then maybe i'd have to be a little bit more concerned but when i looked at lowe's their suggestion putting this in this hardy board is put a layer of plastic and they went clear to the ceiling on there's uh, so you can check that out if you want to on the Lowe's uh, do-it-yourself kind of YouTube videos they put out there and I looked at several different ones now what I did want to show you is here in the corner my wife wanted to have a place to set toiletries and you know shampoo and stuff like that and putting in tile I need to make my own shelving for that so what I did is I just made a 2 by 4 frame that I put the backer board I lined the inside of that with it and I, I put a sheet of backer board on the back of it the the two by fours are three and a half inches and so I cut off a, a half inch of that and so they're uh, three three inches I guess and put that half inch on there and then just shoved them back in actually I think I made them two and two point seventy five and that way I had a little bit of room if I if they're didn't quite set in there. I'd put one up that I tore down because I did. I put plywood on there instead of the backer board, and that was going to make it even narrower. Uh, so I didn't want to do that. So anyway, uh, that's the cubby hole. We'll get the tile on there, and they'll make a nice place to set shower uh, stuff. You know, your shampoo and soap and stuff like that. And here's a second one down here, just a little bit smaller. I just frame those in around the studs and line them with the backer board. So then I put plastic all the way around here, and. Like I said, I didn't go quite to the ceiling, and that's, uh, I'll come down there on the tub, I'll I'll cut that off before they actually tile, I'll get a pair of scissors and cut that off, I'm going to leave it on there until I get the backer board on, and I did put some uh, roofing nails, you can see there, on the 2x4 to hold that up tight against there, well, I didn't pull it up tight, it's just to make sure it doesn't move up or down, once I get the tile and stuff on there, nothing's going to go anywhere anyway, and it's all set in mortar, I used a couple bags of a thin set mortar or mortar mix underneath there and it's sitting in quite a bit of mortar so it shouldn't move anyhow and anyway that's where I'm at with the installation of Whirlpool tub hopefully I get all the hardy board on there shortly and can get cut out here for the showers and uh, uh, 
shower handles and the shower head there that comes out and have that up and then we'll be ready to tile else once I get the backboard up I'll come back and show you a little bit of how that looks and maybe even show you some of the screws that you use on that.